Hey guys, Seafar here, and welcome back to Ark the Farewell Tour. Now that we have our X-Raptor army all saddled up and ready to go, we need to go artifact hunting. So in today's episode, I want to grab the artifact of the Devourer, which means we have to head up all the way to the top right-hand corner of the map over to Karno Island. All right, and here we are at Carno Island. We're going to go ahead and just land right over here. Um, and we're going to use the Thyla to get into this one. So, um, out of all three, I believe it's three artifacts that you need for the Megapithecus fight. It might be four now that I think about it. Um, this is by far the easiest cave out of all of them. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just basically a path that you take and eventually you get to the bottom of this little cave. And the artifact of the Devourer will be sitting right there. So let's take out all these scorpions here. Let's take out the Carnos. Let's take out pretty much everything and anything here. These should all be relatively easy to take care of. Perfect. The only downside running this cave right now... Ooh, Rex, what level are you, buddy? 125, not bad. Um, we, I totally forgot. We actually do have Tech Rexes and everything. We have at least one Tech Rex, so I think we're gonna go the Tech, tech Rex route eventually uh maybe not right now but we'll do that in due time uh one good thing about this cave is nothing's really going to be able to get in here unless there's a saber that comes up behind us uh unfortunately the thylo won't fit either so we actually have to cryo this thing up and then we'll throw it out a little bit further in but out of all the caves yeah this is probably the most straightforward cave it's also probably the easiest in my opinion for the megapithecus uh fight and everything so anyways moving on first things first basically we just got to go into this water a little bit basically dip on down come back up and then we're going to be in the cave uh the problem is there's going to be dinos and stuff right away so yeah let's get the thyla out here hop in here and i think it's pretty much just like i said you just go a little straight come on up And there we go. And we're already getting attacked. Give me one second, guys. Let's go ahead and put a torch on our... Uh Thyla here so we can light up this cave uh in my opinion this is also one of the nicest caves that we have here on the island I gotta say all the caves on the island are really nice but this one in particular I I don't know what it, about it it is but I just absolutely love this one but again if you guys haven't run this cave or anything before basically oh we got a megalosaurus down there um essentially we're gonna start over here we're gonna kind of work our way down loop around and then we constantly loop all the way down all down to those bats at the bottom look at all of those bats oh Oh my god all right um of course you can just jump off of this if you want to and just take everything on at once we're not going to do that we're going to take things kind of slow here and we are going to go ahead and work ourselves down this side um other thing you just got to worry about are these little cracks here just try to jump over them the best you can and you can kind of keep pressing on uh nope you're gonna fall so we'll just wait a second do I want to take out some of these bats now? Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Ooh, we're going to aggro those, though, aren't we? Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. All right, that definitely hit it. Oh, yeah, everything's coming. Oh, boy. Okay, I got rid of one at least. so good news we didn't actually aggro that group down there which is actually really helpful let's see if we can get rid of you come on oh come on that's two shots really here you come oh come on really Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, reload. That's a, that should have hit. There we go. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Took a lot longer than expected, but okay. Uh, we're going to press on here. Let's take you out. 
But yeah, I mean, having this Thyla for this cave is absolutely nuts. Uh, the saddle definitely helps, but this Thyla is just that good. I'm really not worried at all about this cave, including the Megalosaurus at the bottom that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, that's going to be a bit interesting, but we still should be okay. But yeah, like I said, we're just going to slowly but surely go down this path. I totally forgot to grab the HLNA skin. Oh my god. All right, we'll get the artifact, then we'll head on back to base. Then we'll run this cave one more time with HLNA so we can at least unlock this portion of it. I don't know if uh, HLNA reacts in here. I gotta take a look. I know there's a total of five places on the island that HLNA reacts to. I don't think it's this cave now that I think about it, but um, eh, we'll figure it out and see. Yeah, you know what? Looking down, maybe there it would react. I don't know. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's take out this cave first, though. Okay. How did that not hit either? Oh, my God. All right, take him out quick. All right, we got one there. Got one over there. All right, hopefully one more shot. We can take you out. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. What? There we go. Okay. All right, nice, easy scorpion to deal with. Another nice, easy scorpion to... Ooh, you're a high-level scorpion. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, geez. 150. Damn, that would be actually kind of cool getting some scorpions. But I think I have a good idea. I definitely want to get scorpions at some point, but in due time. I don't think it's going to be this map that we're going to get them on. Most likely when we head over to Scorched Earth. That'll be one of the first dinos I get. Um, yeah, definitely a creature that I haven't used really at all. Um that I definitely want to work with. I'm not sure if they originally were on the island or they were on Scorched Earth and then they move the creature over to the island too. I'm not really sure. You guys can let me know that in the comments below. Um, yeah, uh, at the start of Ark, I wasn't actually playing Ark at that time. Uh, you guys may or may not know. I started playing Ark around the time uh, Valguero came out, roughly around there, I believe. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab this drop. All right, a carbo saddle and a wooden shield. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the carbo. I'm going to throw the carbo saddle out. I really don't think we're going to be using that or anything. So let's press on here. You know what we can do? Let's go ahead and grab this torch. Yeah, I ended up having nine torches back at base. So decided to bring all of them with me. Um, if we hold on to some, cool. But we can always throw some out along the way. Let's go ahead and get rid of you guys. There is that Megalosaurus, though. What level are you? 50. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get rid of some of these bats just to lighten the load down here. Oh, that should have hit. Please, no rabies. Please, no rabies. Please, no rabies. All right. Now we got a couple of long range ones to deal with. I really don't think we're going to be able to do this, but let's see if we can get you. That'd be a nice shot if I can get this right here. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, there we go. One down, two to go, possibly, if I can reach this. All right, can we get this other one before it gets to us? And we can. Perfect. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, there's bats and stuff down there, too. Are there any? I don't see any other megalosauruses. I kind of want to jump down there, but at the same time, it's probably not worth it. Um, What time is it? It's currently 1229. Okay, so the megalosaurus is going to be pretty 
docile and a little bit slow too. So I could probably just hit it from here. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's going to be moving real slow. Perfect. Okay, let's just take you out. All right, nice and easy. Let's take out all these guys while we can. Yeah, I want to take out everything before we go for these explorer notes. Uh, by the way, guys, um, I actually hit level 80, which is kind of cool. So if you guys have been watching the live streams and everything, uh, that's finally the level where we're able to go ahead and get ourselves the uh, industrial, the industrial forge. Now, obviously, I'm recording this. Obviously, I'm actually recording this before the live stream, so when I mentioned before about the saddles, that is the plan for the live stream. So hopefully I did get it done and everything. Um, talking about the X-Raptor saddles, I mean, right at the beginning of the episode. But um, yeah, now that we're level 80, we should actually be able to get an industrial forge going too. It should be really, really cool, especially at the new base location that hopefully at this point is almost done, or at least almost able to be used at this point. Um, or on top of that too, we have the Quetzals and everything that we could use. We got a couple of dung beetles here. What level are you guys? 140, 90, and 15. Okay, not bad. I don't want to end up hitting the dung beetles. So we'll come over here and we'll kill all these guys here. All right, and I think that's pretty much everything taken out at this point. Uh, just going to do a quick little double check. Uh, we got the dung beetles, of course. I'm not going to go for these right now because I don't think I brought... Oh, I did bring some cryos. I brought two. We could get ourselves a dung beetle right now then. Maybe. Um, no, I want to do this. Nope, I don't want to do this. But yeah, if I can get that 140 dung beetle, that would be kind of cool. Uh, it's just a matter of seeing if the Thyla needs to poop or anything. Because yeah, as you guys may or may not know, uh, yeah, that's how you get dung beetles. It's basically just a little bit of poop. So let's see. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's see. Come on. Uh, oh, wait, no, you do it on the back. That's right. You do emotes. Nope, you don't do emotes. There it is. Hey, there we go. There's one. Let's see. Are you going to... Ugh. Not ready. Of course you're not ready. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if one's going to be enough. That's the problem for a 140, but... All right. Well, we know you're here. What level are you? 15. So I would like to get the 140. I know it doesn't make a difference between getting a 90, 140, all that, but... We're going to give it a little time. Let's see if we can grab a couple of little uh, poops and stuff from the Thyla. But while we're at it, maybe this is a good time to grab the Explorer notes. No, there's an Uranium in there. I'm not going to be able to get the Uranium, actually. Yeah, I need it to come over here. Come on, buddy. Because I don't think if I use the shotgun... Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, so all the artifacts have kind of like a little perimeter around them where... Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to shoot that. I still don't think I could shoot this guy. Yeah, see? Oh, well, I could. Never mind. Good talk. <laughs> but that is the artifact of a devourer. Nice and easy. Not too bad, especially if you have a really good land mount. But there we go. Artifact of the devourer just like that. Now, we do have a couple things to explore here. We have a couple of explorer notes to grab. I believe there's a total of three to work with in this cave. Uh, let's see if we can get a second one. No, not yet. All right. If we can get two, that might just be enough for the dung beetle. But let's go ahead. Let's listen to this explorer note and see what this is all about. Mesopithecus amicifer is an omnivorous monkey species, primarily inhabiting the island's jungles. It is smaller than a human, but can scurry about the same speed. It does not appear to be aggressive, unlike its relative, the gigantopithecus, but is rather very shy towards humans likely due to their much larger size and lack of hairy exterior. Due to their skittish nature, 
They can be difficult to tame. They can be hand-fed if you are patient, but stick too close to them for too long, and they'll get spooked and run away. A common pet, Mesopithecus, is very easy to keep fed. It will eat nearly any fruit harvested on the island. Mesopithecus is most often used as a social companion, as it cannot carry enough to be a beast of burden, is not large enough to be ridden, and is not particularly good for combat. It is, however, quite effective at vocally warning of incoming truders and pelting them with copious amounts of tossed fecal matter. Nomadic tribes have also managed to teach Mesopithecus to open locked doors when pillaging. So yeah, it's a little foo. <laughs> Uh, I love these explorer notes and everything like that, especially having the voice actors and stuff like that. I know I keep talking about it, but I absolutely love it. Um, I totally forgot there is a way that we can actually get poop relatively quickly. Unfortunately, the Thyla is going to lose its buff. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have it lose its buff. Unfortunately, it is what it is. I'm not really too concerned with leveling up the Thyla anyways. It'll naturally level up on its own, but we just throw the Thyla back out. And it'll poop. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. Um, as you guys were listening to the Explorer note, I went ahead and actually checked Dodo decks. At this point, to get 140, we need three medium feces. So that is actually three right there. And we're going to get one for good luck, just in case if I messed anything up like I did in the last episode. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that Sanguine Elixir was turned on on Dodo decks, so I kind of messed up a team. Unfortunately, uh, though, we didn't have anything mess up too, too badly. But just in case, we got an extra poop. Uh, let's go ahead head and feed this guy a medium feces but yeah it's gonna take three of these to get this guy and here we go all right 38 percent. yeah that sounds about right so while we're waiting on that yeah let's grab this explorer note and then there's a third one i believe it's somewhere up that way we'll have to figure out where it is but explorer note number two much like the island's other large theropods megalosaurus noctodominus is an aggressive cave carnival that should not be taken lightly Unlike most of the other theropods, it is a primarily nocturnal creature. As dawn approaches, Megalosaurus begins looking for a secluded place to spend the day sleeping in relative safety. Conversely, if disturbed during the day, Megalosaurus is significantly more sluggish. Either way, however, its primary combat tactic is to bite onto its target, then lock its jaw shut in an iron grip. Only larger creatures can hope to break free once Megalosaurus locks its jaw. The creature then proceeds to gnaw on its prey until death. It's a terrifying, grisly spectacle to watch, and a formidable tactic for a tribe to employ against more nimble opponents. While Megalosaurus is not the most powerful theropod, it is still highly sought after by night raiders. Due to its nocturnal nature, Megalosaurus becomes much more formidable at night, dodging attacks, conserving stamina, and attacking more accurately, to name a few of its enhanced talents. So yeah, that's the Megalosaurus, which is actually kind of fitting that we found it in a cave with it being such a nocturnal um, dino and something that you can really pretty much only find in caves. I know there's a couple maps you can actually find them out in the open, but traditionally only in caves. So let's go ahead. Ah, oh, I thought you were going to be ready. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and put another torch on the Thyla as we wait here for two out of three is what we're looking at. Uh, let's have a quick look around and see if there's anything else to explore, though. I don't think there's anything really else here. No, just a little obsidian, a little bit of uh, gold. I mean, a little bit of metal. Gold. <laughs> uh, a little bit of metal. Nope, still going to be waiting a little bit. All right, and there we go. That is the easiest 140 we have ever gotten in the form of the dung beetle. Sweet. All right, so at this point, guys, uh, we have the artifact. Uh, we have our dung beetle. Let's uh, let's take a look around. Let's make sure we haven't missed anything here. Yeah, I'm wondering if this structure right here, or even potentially the structure that we saw there, or possibly on this side, is going to react to the... It's going to be one of those Genesis Chronicles, I think they're called. Um, and if you guys are wondering, the reason why I'm doing this whole Genesis Chronicles thing, I want to get access to the Shadow Main Chibi, and I believe this is the way to do it. Uh, over on the island, there's five of these little caves to check on out, and basically um, we'll unlock little lore about Genesis 1. Um, Genesis 2, I mean, not Genesis 1. Um... 
there's five on there's five on scorched earth and there's five on aberration and five on extinction i believe and once you have all 20 unlocked i believe that gives you access to the uh shadow man and of course i'm i'm really struggling with this oh my god i feel like it's up this way it could be that way though now that i think about it um you know what let's jump up here first damn it but what I think we'll do is we'll head back to base regardless. Um, I want to see if I have a little skin ready to go or not. If I don't, then I may just have to go ahead, kill myself, get a new skin, and kind of rinse and repeat. And we'll make a trip back here. Yep, there is an explorer note. Okay. I thought there was. I feel like this is for, like, the leads or something. It's something weird. But let's have a listen and see what this one's about. Until recently... I believed the Megalodon to be the greatest of the ocean predators. Then I discovered Mosasaurus suspirita in the deeps. Not quite as fast, but much larger and stronger, the Mosasaurus rules the darkest waters off the island. Growing up to 15 meters long, Mosasaurus is larger than almost every other aquatic creature I've encountered thus far. Mosasaurus is a deep sea marine lizard which spends all of its time far beneath the water's surface. It is without a doubt one of the most fearsome creatures of the island and can certainly be considered among the ocean's apex predators. Mosasaurus has proven to be an excellent tame for the most advanced tribes. Due to its sheer size and power, you will often find tribes with bases and defenses built upon a Mosasaur's large platform saddle. Having one with you as an escort is probably one of the best oceanic defenses available. Okay, so it wasn't for the leads, it was for the Mosa, but yeah, I always found it interesting, like, where you find a couple of these explorer notes and everything, uh, especially being here in a cave. Ooh, there's another artifact, cool. So you know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna head on out of here. Um, I'm gonna quickly head back to base. I am going to, ooh, what level is this dung beetle? 90. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if I can get a high-level dung beetle, might as well get a second one, right? But anyways, we're going to head on back to base real quick. I'm going to drop off this artifact. I'm going to see if I have a skin ready to go. If I don't, I will get a skin. And then we'll head on back here, and I'll fall like that. Um, we'll head back here. We'll check this cave one more time just to make sure that we can actually do this. Oh, the path's over there. That's why. I was going to say. Oh, my God. Can we? Can, can we go? Come on. Let's. No, 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 no. You are not getting away with that, buddy. Ugh. All right, well, I guess he got away with it. Yeah, I didn't have a skin, so I had to go ahead and let myself get killed. <laughs> but anyways, let's throw out all this other stuff that we don't need here. All right, let's head back over to the Artifact of the Devour. All right, let's get a torch on you, and welcome back to round two of this cave, guys. So there is another artifact in here, which is nice, so we'll be able to get our second Artifact of the Devour. Um, I don't think there should be any threats at this point. I think we've taken out pretty much everything in here. Um, but we do have HLNA out, so hopefully HLNA will react to something in here. If she doesn't, then this isn't one of the caves, basically. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I don't remember this being one of the caves that gives you um, a Genesis Chronicle or anything, but We'll have to wait and see. We'll go ahead and start working our way down here. Uh, worst case scenario, all we're getting is the artifact out of this, which is totally fine anyways, because that's kind of what we came for. So let's go ahead. Let's grab you another blue drop uh, with a hyena don pack and a uh, journeyman bow. Now, we do have already a really good bow, so I can drop that. Uh, what level are you, buddy? I think we passed you before. Oh, uh, you're a 60. OK, uh, what level are you, buddy? 20. Nope, no thank you. I don't even have the cryos, so I don't actually know why I'm looking at the levels of them. Because we don't have enough. <laughs> so I don't really know why I'm looking, but... What level are you? 15, no. No? I'm not going to react to it? 
All right, yeah. I have a feeling this cave's not one of those caves. All right, well, we'll grab the artifact and get the heck out of here. My creator spent her life studying beasts she only knew as oh. the old fossils. Can you imagine what it was like for her to wash up here and meet them in person? I don't have to imagine it, because I can remember how she felt. So this might have been one of the caves. Wow, that's weird. So, like, why didn't you react to that before? Um, yeah, see? So, like, right here is I where she reacts. Interesting. Okay, so pretty much right at the entrance, before you even jump in water. She reacts to it. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure why it didn't happen on the way in, but... Yeah, cool. All right, let's go. So, guys, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That was as simple as it gets to get the artifact. Just have yourselves a really good thylacolio, and you should have no problems. But, guys... Two Artifact of the Devourers, one Dung Beetle. That's going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And on top of that, if you're enjoying the art content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And now I am going to get revenge on those piranha that killed me before. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And that was a cola can.